Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, if you are Tia Mari and Corey Hardick, baby, you might be back in, back in, in love again. What am I talking about, y'all? This ain't no clickbait. Yo, listen, nobody wanted to see this divorce happen. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what Corey did. Corey, you need to make this right because you cannot let Tia go. She will forever be bae in all our hearts. But honestly, Tia is talking about the next chapter of her life. This time, she's it's all about her. Corey looks like he said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All about you, ma'am. How can I be of service? Because they were on Instagram publicly declaring their love for each other publicly coming to the club love for each other i believe the post was erased but you know your girl got a screenshot <laughs> my in the neighborhood talk anyway y'all let's get into this hit that like subscribe button let me show you the post and then we gonna get into tia right we gonna get into tia and how she's talking about new year new her whatever and Corey looks like he's falling in line and i'll explain how this all comes together all right y'all ready for this let go all right so here's the post right and i will always say one thing tia is being extra dramatic these days and you know what i love that for her anyway she says every book starts with a dedication page and this one's dedicated to you my friends my family and my community the outpouring of love i received from you over the last week has been encouraging and humbling i'm so grateful to you for all of this and I said, girl, you better be dramatic, right? Literally, I, every time I've seen one of her posts lately, I've been reminded of waiting to excel, right? I just hear like Whitney Houston, shoop, shoop, be do. Side note, my video on that Ray J and Whitney Houston stuff will be dropping. And you know who what fault I think it is? Kanye's. Anyway, y'all, let's get back to Tia and um, Corey and hit that like and subscribe button. So here's where things get interesting. Corey then commented with the heart, shine bright like a diamond, right? Telling her, shine on, baby, shine. You got that magic. Tia Mowry said, Corey Hardick, I love you and put a heart in there. Now listen to me on this. Listen to me. It wasn't just her saying, I flat out love you because there are a few theories going on as to what this means. One, girl, you know I'm hoping this means they've reconciled. But there's another theory going on that I have to share with you. It's just rumors, but you know, we got to share. Oh, also she posted this, talking about this is the next chapter. Looking good, might I add. All right, so here we go. There are rumors that he stepped out of the relationship. He did come out and flatly deny those rumors. However, everybody was saying, what can make someone leave a 14 year relationship when you see that both people have a lot of love and respect, right? It wasn't any cheating and they both worked to get through. What can make the 14 year relationship fall? Now, a lot of you said, girl, clearly you don't know what you're talking about because anything can make a 14 year relationship fall, right? That's why they call it the seven year itch. Every seven years, give or take a few years, right? People start having these foundational flaws and cracks in the relationship and they have to work hard to move past them. So again, these rumors, right? I've heard rumors that Tia was leaving because she feels like she cannot be her authentic self, that there's another side of her that she feels like she cannot show why she is married to a man. Again, these are just rumors. I'm telling you, I think they're getting back together, but these are the rumors that I've heard. And that's why Corey came out and said, how dare you say I cheated? Or basically Tia is saying, I need to live my truth and I cannot live my truth married to a man. I know, right? Let me know in the comments if you have heard anything, because I, I don't know. Also, there have been rumors, of course, that I talked about with Corey stepping outside of the marriage and that's why he posted because here's the thing the people being like it's to man it's tia it's tia she just can't live her truth i say to you then why did uh what's his name Corey post that's what happens when you do things out of anger you always regret it to me it seems like an argument a serious argument that got seriously out of hand right 
he started talking Billy bad, but talking about, well, then if you want to go, go, because you ain't been there for me, too. And you know, so what if I'm sitting here at Applebee's buying hoes, two for 25 mils? Don't worry about me. Mind your business. You know, this is his first starring role. He's feeling himself. I know a lot of y'all were dragging me because you don't understand I speak in hyperbole on this channel. No, they. when I said she picked him up, they met on a bus stop. What I'm trying to say is they filmed a they filmed a movie. He was not starring, but they filmed a whole movie and then they wrapped and he went to go stand on the bus stop. And her and her sister were leaving in their cars because they got that sister sister money, right? And they saw him on the bus stop and offered him a ride and they became friends. Them standing on the bus stop needing a ride was the beginning of their friendship. He even says that to themselves. They did not even mess with each other like that before she offered. So yes, she did find him standing on a bus stop sucking on a lollipop because she was the breadwinner. She was the famous one. She had the roles come easily to her. And listen, Hollywood acting is tough. This isn't to disparage him in any way, but just hear me out. Like, you know what I'm saying? She had that power. She still does, but he's making a name for himself. Hard work always pays off. Good for him. But we know what happens sometimes when people get a little bit of fame, get a little, there's, there's a shifting of a power dynamic. Whether they do it or not, there is a shifting of a power dynamic. And whatever the shift was, Tia felt like she was losing herself, that she could not. And she said, this new era is all about her. I choose to read that as her saying, I love you, as they are finding a way to reconcile. And he's saying, I will put my ego aside because Losing you is something that just don't make dollars or cents. But I don't know, y'all. What do you think about this? Again, there's rumors on Corey's end. But you know, I, I do have to say this every single time. In 2000 and whenever, when people break up, they want to say somebody's in the closet. Somebody can't live their truth. And listen, I do know that it is a, a sad reality that many people feel like they cannot be authentically themselves and they have to hide behind fake images, false bravado. You got to be the perfect wife, the perfect husband, the perfect this. Okay. I'm not saying that stuff like that does not happen. I'm saying in this case, I don't think that's what's happening. I mean, if it is, then kudos for both of them being loving and supportive to each other as they move toward their truth. Kudos to them. It's just that the fact that in this case for this situation, and maybe it's wishful thinking, only time will tell, it does sound like they work things out. It does sound like they are back on track and back in love. And I, for one, I love to see it, but y'all let's play out. No matter what happens, no matter what happened, it looks like they're going to approach this situation with a lot of love, caring, empathy for each other. And y'all, yeah, I think they reconcile them right now. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.